guys, welcome back. We got episode 35, 35 of the Let's Play, and you guys probably can't hear it, but there's definitely a zombie spawner here. I was mining while watching one of Etho's uh, legendary videos, and I heard a bunch of zombies, and I just assumed it was him. But then I was like, wait a second, because he got into a safe area, and the zombies were still going. So I paused the video, and I can hear him, and I don't know where they are. But we're gonna find. Them. So I just thought you know it'd be nice to have you guys here for this. There's also a spider with them, but this is definitely a zombie spawner. I think it's just like straight up here. Okay. Yeah, this has to be straight up. There it is. Because I could hear them on both sides of me, which was a little strange. Oh, okay. Abandoned mine shaft too. All right, that's cool. I just don't want to go in that way because I'd I'd rather not die right now. <coughs> hey, zombie. And creeper. Oh god, so many zombies. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. No. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Well, that's interesting. It actually <laughs> put tracks in the in the dungeon. All right. So that's neat. Um not likely that I'll actually use this spawner for anything, but I do want the mossy cobblestone. <coughs> uh also, I thought it was a good idea to make a video because I have done some stuff um that I want you guys to see. I made a, a farm, uh, a wheat farm. It's not fully populated yet, but oh, oh, wrong way. Um, because I had no seeds, so I had to go get some from the the nearby forest um, down on the on the bottom of the map, and I only got a couple from that, like eighteen, I think, and that was not enough. So I had to plant them, and then I got a few more with some bone meal, but then I ran out of bone meal and I had to sit here and wait for it to grow for a bit but then I got more bone meal so I did that and got a few more seeds and there's a total of um, 160 wheat that can grow because um, it's, no, it's nothing fancy it's not like the last wheat farm where it's all automatic and everything no, it's just um, a 9x9 nine nine pad or two 9x9 nine nine pads that grow wheat so nothing fantastic but it, it should keep me well fed um, because at a time like every harvest giving me 160 wheat that's um, let's see what's 160 divided by 3 <laughs> let's find out I'll just uh, get out a calculator 160 divided by 3 that's 53 wheat I mean bread, which is pretty good. So, uh, let's explore this uh, abandoned mine shaft, because you know we don't get to do much adventuring, and it just so happens that there's an abandoned mine shaft here. So it's quite a draw. Um, ooh, gold! I've been looking for gold because um, I've got some tracks on my mine shaft steps, which I'll show you when we leave. Um, but they're kind of pathetic because I didn't have enough gold, so, um, I hear a lot more zombies. Oh, and a skeleton just shooting at me, apparently. From where? Out. From over there. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, this, the rails that I have are kind of pathetic because they, uh, I could only afford a rail every four blocks, like every fourth block, which means when you're going up, you go up and then slow down almost to a stop before you hit the next powered rail. And there was actually one point where, for some reason, it just wasn't enough. Um, like, it was enough everywhere else except for this one spot where it was the exact same as everything else, but I just couldn't get up past a certain point. So I had to put in a, an extra one, which is all of the... Um, 
which is all I had. Like, I didn't have any more than that. Um, so, I, uh, <laughs> I've been struggling with that, and it, it goes all right now. Um, but it, it could easily go better. So, as soon as I get enough gold to make a, um, another set of rails, I will. And that should be enough to um, actually get up without slowing down. Because, boy, is it slow. But it's, it's a way up that I don't have to jump every three seconds. Not even three seconds, like every two seconds. So, I like using it for now. See, we're, yeah, we're out under the ocean here, so. Uh, let's see, we've got a ravine here, and you quit it. <laughs> I don't know how to get to you without jumping off the edge. Well, the ravine goes down to lava, which is neat. And this abandoned mine shaft goes on for a while. Is that? No, no, it's just, okay. I thought it was a stronghold, but it's not. Oh, wow, this actually doesn't connect up to the, uh, like, I thought this or, um, over here would... Stop shooting at me! Jeez. Ow. He's being annoying. That's what he is. Um, let's see. We'll go this way. Away from the ravine. Or not. That works, too. <laughs> I just don't want to get shot into the ravine or, you know, whatever. But it looks like it doesn't really go that much farther in this direction here. That's weird. I don't know why there's that little gap there. I thought there might be a more uh, mine shaft that way, but I guess not. But I guess not. That was weird. I don't know what it was that I was trying. Like I don't. I don't know. It came out weird. <laughs> Let's just cover that up. And this doesn't continue, but there is gold there. And are there any visible diamonds? I don't see any, but that doesn't mean they aren't there. Let's make our way across. Because there's... I don't know if that's the same mineshaft. It actually looks like it might be a different one, because this one just seems to end like over here, and that one starts up there. Okay. Uh, oh, jeez, that was close. Um... Gravel now pushes you instead of just suffocating you, so that could have pushed me right off the edge. Trying to get over to where that skeleton is, um, or, well, across to this side of the ravine, which I just did. Um, so, yeah. No need to continue talking about it. Um, I'd like to kill that skeleton, but uh, I, I don't want to be digging tunnels around between parts of the abandoned mine shaft, so if at all possible I'd like to get over there by following the actual mine shaft. Which won't happen, so I guess I'll have to dig over there. Because I thought there was another uh one of these arch things over yeah there is. So I'll just have to dig across. Eh, the skeletons can stay there. Oh there's nothing here anyway. Wow these abandoned mine shafts are just very boring. Like, gotta say, this is some of the most boring mine shafts I've ever seen. Nope, don't shoot at me. Ow. You, I hate you. Okay. Um, let's see. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. No, no diamonds. Alrighty. Um. I do have some diamonds, though, which is cool. Um, oh, jeez, we're almost at ten minutes now. See, I can't get anything done in these videos. Like, adventuring just... Okay, yeah, I see you. You don't need to keep doing that. Um, adventuring in this video just takes up so much time. And there's an Enderman somewhere. Alright. Um, that is just like, I'm... I hate to take so much time doing almost nothing. I need to be really careful. Because, like, if there's a skeleton in there, he could have just ended me, <laughs> shooting me into the lava, and then I'd lose all these diamond tools that I've got. The only thing left with an enchantment on it is the uh, is my sword, which is 
I got a lot of use out of the pick. Ow! Okay, I just lagged right into that hole. <laughs> and, okay, that's... Oh, that's good, actually. I know where this is. But yeah, so uh, I'm over 10 minutes. Um, I'll record another video right after this one. So, no big deal. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye.